everyone welcome back so today we'll be talking about azure b2b so before going into the practicals let's see what azure uh, b2b is which is business to business so let's say you have an organization let's say it's organization a and uh, let's say there is an other organization which is organization b so this is your partner company okay so you are admin of uh, organization a and you are working on some applications so let's say application one and two so you're working on these applications and your team as well. So there is some testing need to be done on that particular team. So you want to involve uh, your partner company to test those applications. So for that, you can use uh, a concept called uh, invite. So you can invite the users from other organizations. So there is a person here, so you can just send an invite email. And if this person accepts this invite email, he will be able to access these uh, resources. So you will be giving uh, only the permissions that uh, he need to have. So that's, uh, that is how it works. So coming to the definition of Azure uh, B2B, so uh, which is business to business, is a service uh, provided by the Microsoft Azure that allows organization to collaborate securely with other organizations outside of their own. In other words, uh, it allows companies to share resources, data, applications with partners, vendors, or customers uh, who are not part of their organization. So with Azure B2B, organization can create a trusted relationship with external parties and provide them uh, with access of specific resources such as files, applications or services without uh, compromising the security of their own data on the uh, systems. So the service simplifies collaboration and enhance, enhance the productivity by eliminating the need of manual account management and user provisioning. So let's go ahead and see whether uh, how to work on that. So for that, uh, let's go to the Azure uh, Active Directory, click that. And here, let's go to the users section. So already we have uh, users here who are uh, members of this directory in which uh, I'm the admin. So let's go ahead and uh, create a user in which you can see there is a two different options. The first one is create new user and then invite an external user. In this case, we can go and click the external user or you can just click and you can change here as well. So you can see create a new user in your organization. So this person will be specific to our organization whereas uh, coming to invite user, invite a new guest user to collaborate with your organization. So the user will be emailed an invitation they can accept in order to be collaborating. So the options will be same. So you can see there is a change so whenever you click, there is an extra option which uh, is personal message. So you can just invite him saying that there is a project going on and uh, we need testing and so on, etc. So based on your needs, you can uh, use this. So let's go ahead and uh, try to create uh, a invite. So I'll be creating my uh, ID. So you can use different email IDs. It's not that only Gmail, you can use Outlook, Facebook and so on. So I'll just uh, use my name and uh, uh, you can say welcome to org a so this uh, invite is to test application one and two so you can just uh, you know uh, add some message here personal message and you can just send invite you can add him to certain groups if you want or the rules that he require and so on so seeing that let me check again yeah so let me click invite and let me show you the invite email So this is how uh, the email is. So in which you can see, we have got this uh, multi uh, directly invited to access the applications with their organization. And uh, you can see the message that we have clicked. So just need to accept this in invitation and uh, you'll be able to perform, uh, you know, the options that uh, it required. So you have to just sign in, which I'll be not doing in this case. So I'm just uh, closing it right now. So once uh, there is a guest user, you can, uh, perform the operations like you know, let's say this is the guest user so you can assign the roles accordingly right 
So let's say uh, you want to limit those uh, external users. So let's go to these external identities and you can see there is an external uh, collaboration settings. So click that. So you can select uh, the appropriate option that is required. So guest user access. So based on your requirement, you can change the, uh, you know, permissions. So if you see the invite settings, anyone in this organization can invite users, including guests or non-admins. Whereas if you select this, only specific roles can uh, invite the users and so on. So based on your needs, you can uh, perform those operations. So I hope you guys understood the concept of today's video, which is B2B collaboration. If you have liked the video, please click the like button below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video. Thanks everyone.